All right, Shalom Akim, Shalom Yasharallah. First off, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. All right, um, you know, I had an encounter this weekend, you know, with a family member talking about uh, the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament. You know, he said the Old Testament was, was uh, led through the Spirit, and the New Testament was also led through the Spirit, but the Apocrypha. He said it, it wasn't through the spirit, and that's why it's not considered canon in um, in the scriptures. You see, so I told him that it is canon, and it was through the spirit, all right? Because the spirit is a spirit of prophecy, and uh, you know the apocrypha has a lot of that, man. All right, and, and and it correlates with um with the rest of the scriptures. All right, so it doesn't go against it. It doesn't say anything that that would that would uh go against um the word of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You see, like the book of Enoch, that book he brought up and he said that that book should be canon as well. Alright, which which makes no sense because the book of Enoch, all right, like a brother from uh, Holland had broken it down. Alright, Enoch and uh Noah, they were sixty nine years apart, but Enoch was already dead. Alright, sixty nine years uh of death apart, alright, after after Enoch. So the book of Enoch mentions enoch seeing noah all right and, and he was saying that he was alive at that time so it's it's already it, it's it's proven to be false you see so the only thing that that is that is real is apoc the apocrypha all right the old testament so-called old testament the apocrypha and the so-called new testament all right the apocrypha means hidden knowledge you see so as we were talking i told him i was like look the, the, what, what really matters I was like, you can't say you have faith, all right, unless you start showing some works, you see, and, and, and your works are gonna gonna be that, working the through the scriptures, all right, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that's how you can show your work, you see, and he was like, no, it's it's all about faith now because some people are gonna be saved, that um, that don't have any works, all right, but it's man. The scriptures are to the point, man. I said, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, faith without uh, works is vain or, or is dead. You see, it says, well, thou know, o vain man, that faith without works is is dead. You see, so it's it's talking about um, doing the work. All right. Going out to the highways and the hedges, preaching, you know, the kingdom of heaven being at hand. You know, thus saith Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And, and repent. All right, so we're we're supposed to be going out there to to teach, you see. So that's our thing, especially if we know this truth. We're supposed to be teaching, and he's saying, you know, he was saying that you don't have to teach, and you don't have to do this, and you don't have to do that. All right, but he didn't bring out any scriptures. So, you know, I just I just left it at that. You know, I stopped talking about it. <clears throat> but this is First Corinthians nine and sixteen. For though I preach the gospel, all right, which means good news, which the good news is for Israel, it says, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yeah, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. All right, and that's been for all the prophets, man. For all the prophets, if you don't preach the word of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, guess what? Something's coming your way, man. You see? And, and not just preaching anything, all right, you have to preach the correct doctrine. You see, which is the, the doctrine of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, which resides within Great Millstone. All right. It says, if I, um, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel, for it is, a, uh, for I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if I against my, if, but if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. All right. Now let's look at that word dispensation to get a clear understanding. All right, this is it in the Greek. Strong's G, 3622, oikonomia, oikonomia. Oikonomia, uh, which kind of sounds like economy. All right, it says the management of a household or of a household affair, specifically the management, oversight, administration of others' property, the office of a manager or overseer, administration or dispensation all right so it says it's lucky it says 
therefore, if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. All right. So um, verse 18, it says, what is my reward then? Verily that when I preach the gospel, I make the gospel of Mashiach without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. All right. So we're supposed to be teaching these these things without uh, expecting a reward. All right. We're supposed to be doing this willingly. You see, willingly teaching uh, uh, the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, not like those churches. All right. Where they ask you for money right as soon as they teach you one uh, precept and then they break it down horribly. All right. And then they ask for money afterward. And then, um, you know, but oh, but but all the commandments, law, statutes and commandments are done away with. You see, so you have to preach the gospel correctly. You see, and the only people that are preaching the gospel correctly are the ones at Great Millstone. See, because because from, starting from Abba Bivens on down to Elder Tahar, Elder Rakah and on down, you know, um, they have the true understanding of the scriptures. All right, not like IUIC. IUIC has been running this money scheme, all right? And then you have GOCC and you have these other camps that don't even have the correct breakdowns of the scriptures. Then you have, you know, idiots like um, Post, Post Malone that he doesn't, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, all right? And then you have uh, Brother Polite that doesn't even believe in the scriptures. All right? And then you have other people like uh, Rap the News, uh, which the elder from Dallas had broken, uh, well, he went into the video that he did, Rap the News did, about breaking down, I believe it was like Isaiah. And, you know, he doesn't know what he's talking about either, man. So the, you have to co get the correct understanding through the men of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you see, it's not just um, anything that you that you feel, all right, because the scriptures are not about feelings, man, the fi fi uh, scriptures are about facts, all right, so it says, woe is me, uh, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel, all right, so we have to be in the right spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you see, so this is uh, Revelations 22 and 11, it says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. You see? So we have to, you know, um, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, pick who is righteous, who is un unjust, who is just, who is holy, and who's um, filthy. All right. So like that conversation I had this weekend, I had to cut it off. All right. There was there was there was no getting around. All right. There's no getting around what the scriptures are. There's no uh, sugar coating. All right. So if you feel like you have to sugarcoat, then then that's not where, where it's at, man. All right. That's not where the, the the spirit is 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 dwelling. You see. So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai had, had has shown us these things for a reason. All right, and that reason is to take care of the brotherhood. All right, who are your your sisters, your brothers, your fathers, and your mothers? You see, it's it's talking about the ones in the truth, man. All right, if if there comes laborers, all right, we're supposed to be praying for laborers, but if there comes laborers, are right, we have to keep keep testing them? You see, hopefully, you know, Lord willing, that they are men of the Lord, and you know they'll they'll continue no matter how hard the words are, they'll still listen, man. Because they have that fear for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so this is uh, Ezekiel 3, down to verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. All right, and right, right now that applies to, to the men at Great Millstone that are doing this work. All right, we're made watchmen over the house of Israel. All right, but like it says in uh, Isaiah 30 and 9. All right, this is a rebellious people, people that will not hearken to the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And then uh, it says, uh, they, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. All right, so that's, that's what Israel wants, you see. So in Ezekiel 3 and 17, it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. All right, so the men at Great Millstone are made watchmen. So we have to be watching out for Israel. All right. And making sure that we're letting them know what they need to know. All right. Because if we don't, 
then that blood is on our hands, man. All right, it says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth. You see, it says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. It says, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. You see, so like that man was telling me this weekend, he said, man, you, you don't have to, you know, some are going to be saved by, by faith. All right. But they're living in iniquity. And what did it say in Ezekiel th uh, 3 and 18? All right. Even if they're living in their iniquity, they will surely die. You see, but his blood will I require at thine hand. You see, so it's talking about um, um, warning the people, man, letting them know that, that they're going astray. All right. It says, if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. All right. So, uh, you know, like like uh, like the scriptures say, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, basically uh, saving yourself from knowing the terrors of the Lord. Uh, oh, man, how does it go? Knowing the terrors of the Lord. We persuade men, all right. So through through your like knowing the terror, Yahab Hashem Yahweh you're gonna be doing that work, man. You see, I can't think of that scripture that 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 I'm trying to say, you know. But you're supposed to be working for Yahab Hashem Yahweh you see, and and letting the people know, because if you don't let them know, all right, that they're going off and they shouldn't be doing that, then you know that's. That, that comes on you, man. You see, and that's something dangerous, something dangerous and, and terrifying to fall into the hand of Yahabashim Yahweh Shai. You see? In the left hand side. It says, If thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, all right, like I like I told that man, like look, you have to be doing the work, man. You have to be listening to the commandments of Yahabashim Yahweh Shai. Thus say it the whole entire scriptures. You see what I'm saying? It says from the old testament, the apocrypha it says it in the New Testament, all those things that are to come upon you. If if um um if you don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to you to the best of your ability, you see, over and over and over has Israel fallen for that same reason, and, and, and like Hosea uh, chapter four and six says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. All right, because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is rejecting these people that are hearing the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and are and are rejecting them. You see, it says um. Verse 20, again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he hath done, which he hath done shall not be remembered, but his blood would I require at thine hand. All right, so like in the time of Job, when Job was going through these things, all right, the, the, the ones that he called his friends, all right, they were they were blaming him for the unrighteous things that are happening. All right, which you know you're supposed to do, but they weren't they weren't trying to understand Job. All right, they were they were just they were just trying to rebuke. You see, and, and there's different types of of helping uh, brotherhood. All right, there's there's different types of help that you can say, man. Whether it be like, hey, man, I uh, I noticed you haven't been. Uh, you know, going out to the highways and the hedges, man. What's wrong? Is everything okay? Out? All right, you gotta. We gotta do this, this, and that. Or, or say that uh, you see him talking to a woman that's married. All right, and, and you're like, hey, I, that 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 woman is is taken. You know, and and we're not supposed to be doing this type of thing. You know, we're we're supposed to be there as brothers. All right, you wouldn't. All right, if if you're a man of the Lord and you consider yourself a man of the Lord, and you see your brother going off, like your your blood brother going off, all right? You, you're not going to be like, man, man, fuck that dude, all right? If you say you have love for your family, you're not going to be like that. You're not going to do that to your to your mom, all right? You're not going to do that to your, uh, to your father, you see? So we have to be there for our brothers, all right, which are really our true brothers in, in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? So when Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai lays those stumbling blocks, it's, it's laid now upon us. To, to lift that brother up. It says, because thou hast not given him warning, he shall sure, he shall die in a sin. All right, so sin is, is transgression of the law, you see? 
It says, And his righteousness, which he hath done, shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thy hand. All right, so everything that he did, if, if he labored for 20 years, for 30 years, for 50 years, all right, if he labored for that long, then at the end he, he falls off and no one lets him know. I mean, that blood is required on, on your hand, you see, because you didn't let him know. But if you let him know and he continues in his wickedness, you're good, man. You see, it says, Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned, also thou hast delivered thy soul. All right, so it's fallen upon us to, to be brothers. All right, greater love has no man than this, that a friend laid down his life for, uh, for his friends. You see, so, hey, laying down your life is, it, it could be figuratively, or it could, you know, a metaphor, or it could be literally, man. All right, so you're putting your life at risk by knowing these men, all right? But like it says, uh, you know, when you, uh, uh, Matthew 10, you know, when he came to deliver a sword, he came up to split people up, man. He didn't come here to, you know, and I'm not saying people like everybody, but he came to split people from, from being all buddy-buddy, the true men of the Lord, to men that are seriously uh, that are serious about this truth you see so hey like the scriptures say man open rebuke is better than secret love all right so it's it's a necessity for us to be preaching this word and warning israel all right letting israel know that they're going off letting israel know to come back to their power which is yahweh all right and their savior which is yahweh shai all right so with that i came on i say shalom peace and blessings to the 12 tribes of israel and as always, give it all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, and giving double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. Shalawamakim, stay strong out there and keep preaching the word, man. Woe is unto us if we don't do it, all right? Shalawam.